Hello guys. This video is going to demonstrate an IOL exchange for IOL power surprise in one week post op case. In post op period, surgeon noted plus 3.75 refraction and AR reading of plus 4.25. taking into consideration the amount of refraction was decided to go ahead with iol exchange luckily it was a hydrophilic iol and post op period was one week surgery started with opening of a old corneal sections followed by injection of viscoelastic material in the anterior chamber with the help of two dialers IOL is dialed into anterior chamber from the bag and bag is filled with viscoelastic material as it was a hydrophilic IOL you can notice there is no fibrosis and IOL is freely movable in the bag using a bimanual technique with the help of two dialers i dialed the IOL into the anterior chamber once it is done refill the anterior chamber and the next step is to cut this iol into two halves or you can cut till center of its optic so that this area will act as a hinge while dialing iol out of the corneal section as demonstrated in this video after giving support with left hand dialer and my right hand is having a micro scissor which will help me to cut this iol till its center this particular scissor is not meant for this purpose and is a bit delicate for this particular job there are study scissors available commercially which you can purchase and keep one in stock cutting the hydrophobic iol is a bit tough as the material is a bit harder and thicker though the technique remains same you may need a bit more sturdy scissor for cutting hydrophobic iols use a high density viscoelastic in the anterior chamber to avoid damage to endothelium or to the capsular bag keep reforming anterior chamber if it is getting shallow do not rush to complete the case a proper instrumentation is must to handle such cases once the optic is cut till its center or a bit more than that you can pull one side of a optic and take it out now this area while acting as a hinge at corneal wound rotate the iol as shown in video and with no time your iol will be out of the corneal section use a second proper power iol and implant it as usual i usually prefer applying a suture whenever my corneal section is extended so in this case i have taken one suture 10 at corneal section
Hope you have enjoyed and understood the technique for IOL exchange. Thank you for watching.